Lucas Giolito, right out the gate here. Um, I thought this was a great start from our boy Lucas. What are your thoughts on Mr. Giolito's six innings, five hit baseball? He only gave up two runs, walked two, struck out nine. We've talked a little bit on Sunday about the White Sox leading the league in strikeouts. He continues to pile up those uh, strikeout numbers. He does give up one solo shot to Vinny Pasquantino, but he looked dominant tonight. Lucas looked really good. Um, he went out there and he looked really laser focused today. And it was almost as if he was, you know, I don't know, maybe hashtag mad online about something he might have read a couple of days ago. And uh seemed like he went out there with a very renewed focus and a couple of particular spots in there in the fifth and the sixth inning when he got himself into trouble where I know we have been very critical of him in the past for crumbling in moments like that. He really hunkered down and uh, kept his team in position to win a baseball game tonight. So you have to be pleased overall with what they saw from Lucas uh, going out there, being able to cover those full 18 ounces I talk about so frequently. So kudos to Lucas, and he's continuing a very nice positive trend of solid performances of late. Yes, he absolutely has. And and we'll get into some of those comments here in just a minute, but uh the fact that he came out it, with the mentality today that he was going to shut you down, I think you could see it in the body language, something we've talked about on this show a couple, two, three times, is you know when Lucas Giolito is on. Tonight he had that. He had that demeanor of a pitcher that was on. And he worked himself out of a couple of jams that I think in recent performances – just judging off of what I saw from Lucas Giolito tonight would have wound up disastrous for this team. And I feel like that's sort of like the same story that we we talked about over and over on this show. I was impressed that we were able to overcome some adversity tonight with Lucas Giolito on the mound. And I think that's a big step forward for him. Obviously when you put the context in place here of some recent reports that were online, that you had just mentioned I kind of wonder what the mentality was about tonight versus in outings prior. So are you saying that he was looking to up his trade value, Anthony? Could have been. Could have been. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure if that was the case, but he definitely looked like he had something to pitch for tonight. He, uh, he definitely looked like he had a little bit of a fire up his ass here this evening, and that's something that – I know I like to see out there. Um, again, I think a lot of people have made a lot in recent years about Lucas and his body language in particular out there, particularly when he finds himself into tough situations. So to see him go out there tonight and really just have that laser focus, that, that was a phrase I used early on here, but it was very evident early on. Even after he gave up the uh, solo home run to uh, Vinny Pascantino, you know, hey, you know, uh, get some spaghetti. And uh, I don't you know, like Vinny P guy. I like, yeah, yeah. I like Vinny P. Oh, 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 I'm sure, I'm sure you do. Why? Because he's one of your pies. Hey, hey, hey. Never, never mind. Never That's anti-Italian. Whoa, whoa, discrimination whoa, whoa, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? I, 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 I would never do that. I would never, ever do something. I think like he's that. a great baseball hitter, Stephen. <laughs> Anyway, that's not why you called. Um, you know, so goes out there, gives up the home run in, in the first inning right there. After this team got shellacked yesterday, fall behind early in the first inning. We've seen this happen a lot with this group in the last year, year and a half or so. Um, things just have a tendency to snowball. And you get a cumulative effect of one bad event leading to another, leading to another. Next thing you know, the shit rolls downhill. So to see him... After that, just basically shrug it off. It's like, okay, it's one pitch. You got to score to win anyway. Whatever. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to shove it up your ass now after that. That's the type of mindset that I've been looking for from this guy. And I think a lot of people have been looking for out of him for quite a while. So to see him do that here tonight, we'd love to see it. 